Hi guys, I'm back again to show you another hide and seek rock. This one's already been base coated in black with the center in white so that my colors will be vivid when I start the center. So for this we're going to be making some little white flowers and we're going to be making the center a nice what is this one? Aqua color in the center. These are just basic acrylic paints that I have. They're easy clean up, easy to use. So I'm going to paint the center first. So by the time that I got to go back and decorate it, it will be dry. So I've done the white on purpose because I want my colors to pop. Well this color seems very light so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it um, this coat and then just see if I find a different color. Because I don't want a light color this sheer. Alrighty. So what I'll do is I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and put a different color over it. Not all colors are as opaque as you'd like. Um, okay, so then we'll move on to the white. We're just going to make these simple little flowers that anybody can create. So I'm going to be using, let me see which brush do I like. I guess I like this little oval brush. We're just going to make some simple little flowers, nothing complicated. So these flowers that I'm going to make is just, it's basically in the same shape as the brush which is the easiest way to go so I'm just going to push touch and lift my brush to get these little petals going. This isn't being artsy, this is just being lazy because the shape's already on the brush and you can do this too. So I'm going to be doing these all around. See how cute and simple. Alrighty, so let's continue to make some more petals. Honestly, this is the only real flowers I'll ever have. I don't have a green thumb at all, so my flowers have to be the silk. Or painted. And I love flowers. Alrighty. So let's create another one here. Now if you've seen I put my rock oops sorry I've put my rock on a piece of paper so I can move it around without actually getting my fingers full of paint. Now I'm going to continue making flowers here. So let's just do a half flower here like we did the first one. So now I am going to take and continue making my flowers petals. We're going to come back and make a nice yellow center on these flowers. Um, let's see. Just figuring out where I'm randomly putting my petals for my flowers. 
Now this idea I did see it on Pinterest and I thought it was so pretty that I wanted to recreate it. So whoever made it, thank you for the idea, just like I'm doing for you guys. Sharing ideas, I hope that I inspire you and you also recreate my designs and just make mention where you found them. I am putting my rocks on my Facebook, a touch of class. I'll take pictures of the actual rocks and I will link. Oops, I'm out of the camera again. Guys, you gotta forgive me. I am so sorry. I'm just having so much fun and getting carried away. So I guess let me not move my my rock from where it is right now. Um, so as I was saying, if you find um, I'm making these rocks to do a hide and seek. Um, a little love message on it. A little hope message. Just um, anything that inspires your heart. So then what I'm going to be doing now is finishing these petals off. I'm going to be rinsing off my brush. Now I'm going to see if I find a color that is a little bit more opaque for this center because it's already dry. I'm just cleaning my brush constantly in between um, painting. I don't want my brushes to get dirty so that was the aqua. So let's try this blue. This is a turquoise blue what I'm going to put on there now. Hopefully this has enough pigment. Some of these paints don't have a lot of pigment. And I guess it's a hit or miss. Alrighty, I have my brush. On the side I have clean water and paper towel for cleaning my my brushes in between each color. Yeah, this color is much nicer. It's covering better. Alrighty. So by the time that I get back to the center, like I was saying before, this will be dry. Because in here I do want to write a word. And the nice thing about acrylics is it really does dry quickly. So I think that looks very pretty. I was trying to go for the aqua, hoping that the aqua was going to show up and it'd be a nice cheery color, but this will do fine. Alright, that might need another coat, but then again, this dries really quick. I'm trying to get the best lighting here. I do have um, an odd light, light all around it. You know what I did forget? I should put my overhead light, so give me one second. Did you guys notice the light going on? I hope it makes a difference in the color. I think that helped a little bit. All right, so with that being said, let's move on to the center of the flowers. They're going to be a nice yellow. Let me get that same brush I had before. Let me just shake it up really quick. Alrighty. So for this is just a little circle in the center of the flowers. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Just throwing a little color.
Now, if you can, leave me comments about your opinion on making these rocks. I know they take time and you will be giving them away. So do you think it's worth it? Do you think you would like one? I've read messages on people finding these rocks and it makes them happy. So I'm hoping that the same happens for me, that people who receive these will like them and appreciate the time and love that goes into making these. Alrighty, that's all done. I told you it was quick and easy. Now I'm just going to blend a little bit of orange into the centers as well. Just to give it a little bit more dimension. So it's just going to come in like that. Do a little blending if you want to. I think that's looking very nice. Let me turn it around, making sure I keep it in the camera. See, this paper really does help. All right, I'll come on this side. Alrighty, you see how quick and easy that was? Now, I am cleaning my brush again and I am going to go into my blue and I will make more little flowers around with the blue. This is with the turquoise blue. I think I want to go to a smaller little brush because I want these to be smaller. Alrighty. We're going to be making the same kind of design with these, just smaller. These are just five petals. Let me see, let me sneak in one here. I'll sneak another one on here. It can overlap the actual flower that was originally there. Let me turn this again. I'll put one in here. Another one down here. I'll throw a little one right here. And like I said, these are just five petals. Continue to turn it. Make another one here. like that and I'll throw another one down here towards the bottom but I don't want to lift it because I don't want to get smudge up my paint alrighty I think that's enough of the blue 
so again I will go back and dot the center of the blue with a little bit of the yellow Now for this I'm using the back of my brush, the same brush I just used. These are littler, or at least they are, we can say smaller. Now let me turn this around and find all the flowers. Let me get enough on there. This is all pretty basic and simple. Nothing here is complicated. This is why I like doing the videos so you can follow along. I like to do it live without having to stop and pause unless I have to do some drawing. Now I'm going to come in and get some green. Oh, where's my green? Here is my green. Let me just shake it up again. And again, we're going to use the same brush and we're going to do exactly the same strokes as we just did. It's very simple, very basic. Just touching and lifting, just dragging, just putting little leaves in here. They don't have to be perfect. People understand what it's, what it is, I hope. So I'm just throwing some more leaves down here, trying to fill up as much of the rock as you can. Um, let's see, I'll throw some here. Like I said, this is an inspiration one because I saw it somewhere and I thought it was so pretty that I really wanted to make one. Alrighty, let's see. Um, throw one there. I enjoy giving things away, especially when people don't expect it. I was crocheting all winter long making beanies and donating them especially to um, a rehabilitation place that my mom actually ended up in it was winter and a lot of the patients had to go to to doctor's appointments and in the winter a lot of the elderlies there they don't all have um, children or family that care for them because they're older and some people don't have living family and some people have family that is too old and can't get to them so it's not all neglect it's just people don't have a lot of family. So I'd see people in wheelchairs going to appointments, doctor's appointments. And I said, oh my God, they're going to freeze out there. And it was the dead of winter. So with that being said, I hope you get inspired to if you have a, a hobby or a craft that you could share to share it with someone who will be needing it 
Alrighty, so I am looking for my blue lid for my teal. I don't see it, so I'll just paint out of the jar. I like to actually take the lids of my um, jars and just paint from them. So I'm just going to give this a quick third coat because we're still not done with the decorating of the black side so by the time I'm done with the black side then definitely this has to be completely dry and ready for our inspirational message now that's perfect all right wash that now I'm going to go and get my white and I look like a cool pool of water now I found where I did with my lid I put the blue on the white Oh yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can clean it up because now my white is covered with blue. Put the wrong lid on there. So then, oh goodness. All right, I think I cleaned it up pretty good. Tragedy averted. Now what I do need is a fine little tipped dotting tool so I'm going to use this little little brush so let me just get my let me just open around the yellow of my Flower. I want to do some little random dots around it. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated, just some random little dots to decorate. Now I'll be doing those as well on the, the blue. Okay, let me see. I'm just trying to get in everything. Now for the green, we can come back and also do um, some little lines down the center. So that way it'll have like a little vine or a little vein. See, I don't know. I don't know my flowers. I'm just as bad with cars. I know people who actually know everything about vehicles. Year, make, model, history on everything. Not my forte, but I do love going to car shows. Alrighty, we're coming along here. Almost done with our little polka dots. And we're done with the polka dots. Alrighty, that's done. So for the the green. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a sharpie. Just going to put a little line down the center. 
just to indicate You know, it doesn't even need it. I'll just do the big ones. Alright, I think I'll leave it like that. So, I'm going to get my black now and I'm going to make dots on the teal all right let me see with that brush that I just had go it's like I'm washing and dropping washing and dropping so we're just gonna make dots all around the edge here now my teal is not dry completely but that's okay we can always hit it up with the blow dryer and get it dry as quick as possible Now, if you're interested in doing these projects, but don't have um, a lot of brushes or equipment, I actually have gotten a lot of my brushes. I get really nice ones. I just use coupons from my local crafting store. I'm very lucky to have um, four really local. I have Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, all within two minutes from each other. I actually have Michael's, Joann's, AC Moore all in one plaza in the same exact uh, strip mall. And then uh, a two second drive in the car you also have um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so we're done with the actual design. Now I'm going to fill in the center. So there's faith, believe, and hope. Let's see. Which one am I inspired to do? I think believe is nice. So let's hope that I get it all in here really nice. So let's, with a light stroke, you can do this lettering. Don't push too hard on your brush. So let's now mind you my teal isn't a hundred percent dry. talk too much while I'm writing because I want to make sure that my letters are nice and and not jiggly I can always come back with the sharpie and 
fill in anything that's not completed. And now let's get the E. It would have three E's, we're all swirlies. And there we have our Believe. Like I said, after this dries, I can come in and um, finish blending in all the little spaces because of the texture of the rock. I'm not concerned about that right now. And I'm going to decorate more of the Believe with some little dots as well. Decorate it a little bit. So let me move this up a little bit for you. This gives a little pop of color in here. I hope you could see why I was so taken by this one because it's so pretty. It does have a lot of detail, but it's all basic little just squiggles and lines. Okay guys, uh, so this is going to be the end of this. Now because this is um, acrylic, as I mentioned in my other videos, um, I want this to completely dry then we're gonna seal it with a clear coat be it spray or whatever you have at hand and then um, you can put it out and give it away now like I've said before these you can leave in parking lots uh, window sills in the stores um, just randomly put it wherever you're inspired to put it and gifted to someone an expecting person and hopefully they will um, with my rocks not necessarily yours they will go onto my Facebook and they will at least um, note where they found it and how they felt when they found it and if it made them happy if it'll inspire them to do it. I'm just throwing some little polka dots in here while I'm at talking to you. And um, if they'll share a picture and if you'd like to see updates and see what happens with these little rocks, you can also go to my Facebook uh, page which is called A Touch of Class where I like to post um, videos and informative stuff that other people on Facebook post because I like to learn and I like seeing other people's creative ideas and how they do their stuff. So with that being said, uh, if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you're not subscribed yet subscribe to my channel and enjoy more rocks that I'll be doing and who knows what else whatever inspires me I hope that you like it all right let me turn this around and we'll call it a day and believe you too can make one thank you for watching